Hello friends, what a hot mess we're looking. I did not get a daily vlog up Monday. I don't know what day you guys are seeing this. So, if anyone's got any little tips and tricks, be great. My son, since he has been potty trained, does not wear clothes. He does not like them. Now that he knows what parts he's got and he's seen how they function, he doesn't like clothing. And so I haven't been able to vlog because I have a literal half naked child running around. <laughs> and like, even if I um, am doing something like, you know, not filming him, he still is running around behind me. So it's been, it's been interesting just having a kid who's just naked all the time. Um, but I'm doing my greens now. I wanted to remind you guys, Mariah R15 gets you 15% off. I do these every morning. Um, I actually already got my workout in. I just wanted to knock it out. And I realized halfway through I had not done this yet, which is why I was, my workout kind of sucked. Like I just didn't have the energy that I usually have. Um, so I take in total everything from you. I do the trim. This is just the gold. This is the stuff that got me addicted to trim because it is, uh, it helps you kick all of your sugar cravings to the curb. It gives you energy boost without the crash. Um, it is just helps you burn excess fat. Like it is so amazing. And this is two tubs that I put in this little container I have from Amazon. Um, I do two scoops a day. You need two tubs for a month if you're gonna do two scoops a day. So that, and then that's from you along with all of these that I also take. And Mariah R15 works for all of this. So what I mix together is these four. You can get these from Amazon, Immune Boost. And then this is a like detox booster, honestly. Um, it helps with so many things, but I mix these four first. So we're doing greens. But back to what I was saying, if, even if I'm not filming Ezra, he still is running around behind me. So if you guys have any tips for what to do to keep pants and underwear on your kids, or do you, I mean, is that even a concern? Are we, do you even care? I personally don't care, but it's just kind of, you know, just free balling it out there. I'm like, kid, you could just not, you know? So, oh man, why I have not vlogged because I just, constantly have a little naked baby. But the good thing is he is doing, I mean, honestly, so many people are like, how's potty training going? I really don't, I'm not like, we're not in potty training anymore. I don't know if like people use that term for a long period of time. This is the beauty collagen I'm mixing. Um, but like, I don't, I don't say, oh, we're potty training. Like he is potty trained. He just gives you a 0.2 seconds before he poops. So around 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. because he does, he works like, I was talking about this on Instagram last night, kid works like a clock. Um, if you're not on him, like white on rice, 10 a.m., 4 p.m., he gives you a heads up, it's already too late because like he, he'll say it like 0.2 seconds and sometimes you can make it, sometimes you can't. It's just, uh, the book was like, accidents happen, it's fine. You know, the, the whole point is that they understand and like, he just does so good. Alerting us or going in there and sitting down or saying constantly like, I need to pee. It's like, okay, we got this bud. So I don't know, maybe some people would still say that's potty training. I don't feel like it is because it's just, he's so aware of it now that it doesn't feel like something we're having to focus on. I think that's why I don't really count us as still potty training because it's just like, I haven't thought about it. So gotta let them bubbles go down because I noticed that like I was starting to gag when I was finishing up the greens, if I don't wait for the bubbles. Cause they're just so like, I don't like bubbles even in my like, like Diet Coke. Like it doesn't matter what it is. I don't want to drink bubbles. So I wait for the bubbles to go. And then after I do my greens, I'll do the probiotic, which is so good for so many things. I think you, even if you don't take you, you guys take a probiotic every single day. Please do. It will change so much. And then the hormone balance, which is, I'll wait for this to go down. I do have to say. So the workout I shared, I think I might have been Saturday. Um, I talked about the incline workout. I have been sweating so much. I'm actually breaking out because of how much I sweat doing the incline workout. And I'm not someone who usually sweats a lot during working out. So I'm now going to have to wash my face if I work out at the end of the day. Before I work out, I have to wash my face because I'm starting to break out so much from makeup. But if I could just get off my butt and actually work out in the mornings, it would be easier like I did today. All right, that's fine. I'll never understand people.
people who can sip on greens. That just ain't the journey for me. Not enjoyable. Like it's not something I would just like casually be like, oh, this tastes so good, you know? We are all supplemented for the day. Gotta do the trim. Scoop number one for the day. We are a little bit behind just because I did work out, work out <clears throat> after the boys went to my parents. My parents come at eight. So it's like 9.30, 9.40 right now. Um, just a little behind. But I have a video to film today. One video I'm doing my like Amazon top sellers for the month slash like most rated. So I went through my Amazon list, my top sellers for the month. I wanted, or no, my top sellers for the year. I wanted to do a top sellers video. Hold on. Instead of waiting for like the end of the year and doing the whole year's favorites, I was like, let's do a six month favorite video. But when I was going through, I was like, some of these things don't rate really well. Some of them rate so well. So I ended up, I'm gonna do a, my favorite products from the last six months that are also top sellers for, from you guys, like from my storefront, not just top sellers on Amazon, but like top sellers that you guys have purchased from me. And all of the ones that I am mentioning have to have a 4.5 star or higher rating. It's, you know, you know you have a good product. It's not something that just I'm saying is good. Other people are saying is good. You, like some of them have 10,000, 15,000, 200,000 reviews. So you can check through those. Um, which review section and Amazon can be so helpful. People are so descriptive there. And Amazon's really good about taking the most descriptive ones, whether they're positive or negative and putting them at the very top. So it's just, it's, it's gonna be a good one. And then what else do we have? Oh, I forgot my eye patches. Um, I also wanted to do a Walmart haul fashion. I shared that stuff with you guys in a vlog. You got a little sneak peek of it. And then apart from that, I can't remember what the other video that I want to do tomorrow is. I film three videos a week because I post three videos a week and I gotta make sure that I'm ahead. I cannot for the life of me remember what that other video is gonna be. But anyway, it's gonna be a good one. Be an athleisure haul, accessories. I'll have to look at my notebook. I got these eye patches. Um, Jenna Green talked about these on Instagram. I have the gold ones that I absolutely love, but these are so cool. Let me show y'all. Marine Collagen Eye Gels. They are dermatologist recommended hyaluronic acid and pearl extract. Puffy eyes, dry skin, tired look, 12 pairs. And they come with all of these like really cool colors. You can see all the colors there. So let's do, we're gonna do purple. Okay, so purple, we're gonna do these and they're really cool looking. I love, love, love the eye patches. They have really made such a difference for me. Oh, these have two little things. Thank God. The other ones kept falling out in the package. Okay. So it's got a little sheet. Look at those. Look how cute. Okay. Let me set you guys up higher. A hot mess. I see a lot of people do this. So you need to take the thinner part. And you can kind of tell like what's the top and what's the bottom. The thinner part goes right by your eye because that's where you have like, obviously there's much less space to your face over here than over here. So that is, uh, that's how you have to put these is the smallest part goes. And I already have the Naturium Dewy Glow Moisturizer SPF 50 on. Some of you guys told me that they had, I'm so upset. Some of you guys told me they had um, a tinted one that they came out with. But I couldn't get my color in time by the time I went and looked for it. They didn't have my color. I'm gonna let these sit. I'm gonna heat up my curling iron. I think we're gonna do that like curling iron straight look I've been doing um, that gives you the almost just like curled under look. Like it's really soft, but it's not like pin straight hair. And then I'll come back, but I'll let these sit for a bit. Almost forgot you guys. Okay. Let's go Costco.
Let's run some kid free errands. And we're going to my favorite place. Costco. I feel like Mitchell Pritchett discovering how amazing Costco is every single time. This was actually a light Costco week for us. We got all of our essentials from the grocery store yesterday. So today I wanted to stock up on some of our favorite snacks, my favorite bars and protein powders. Along with flowers and also this Henkel's saute pan. My mom actually told me that they had it up at the front last week and it was a little bit cheaper, but I still managed to get By it. By the way, their pre-made meals are superior and their shredded rotisserie chicken is so easy for enchiladas. This was a light Costco week for us and I still managed to spend over 300 free freaking dollars. That is insane. But I was hungry and impatient, so I decided to try the chomps for the first and time. I have to say, I was very impressed. I do get why people rave about this. And then I spent what felt like four million years unloading this I car. I always forget to bring boxes to Costco, and I never want to ask them for some when I'm there. But I need to suck it up and realize that I am not coordinated enough to do this without them. Now I'm off to unpack everything and hide my favorite snacks from the kids before they get home from their grandparents' house. Okay, so we're back from Costco, um, and I will show y'all three things Four things, four things that I got from Costco. Nothing super exciting, but before I do this, let me show you, cause they may not have it long-term. So my mom bought this the other day. I haven't finished putting up everything, obviously. My mom bought this the other day, it was like 16 bucks. It's a Hinkle's brand, which is super nice. And um, I got it today, 24 bucks. I like hers because it is so much more lightweight. Hold on, I don't, I don't know why I'm trying to do this on camera. Um, my caraway pan, I absolutely love. The size is perfect. The the color is perfect. It washes and dries easy. It's still non-stick. It's non-toxic. It's like the whole thing. But I literally, like there have been times I have been pouring something out of that and I will like want to cry. My wrist hurts so bad. Like it by itself is heavy. And as soon as you cook anything in it, it is almost miserably heavy. Just the way the weight is distributed, I don't know, but I wanted something else. So it's also non-toxic, the ceramic non-stick. But like, I mean, immediately, immediately this thing is honestly probably like two pounds lighter than the other. So it's the same size. It just, that caraway, I love it so much. It is so, so good, but oh, it's heavy. It's so bad. So I got that. There are a couple things. So they got rid of, there was a recall on some, um, like their Southwest chicken wraps or something. No, no, what were they called? I think that's what they were called. It's like the orange wraps at Costco. You guys know what I'm talking about? There was a recall on them and I haven't seen them since, but they had something similar, but it was a yellow wrap. So a couple things, first and foremost, get this. This is literally already refrigerated, already shredded. It is rotisserie chicken huge package love this stuff it's great for enchiladas grabbed a couple of these because the boys absolutely love sandwiches right now ezra's a little bit more i want a peanut butter and jelly but we're trying to get a little bit of variety in them so these are the chicken sandwiches they all have sauces they're delicious and then the last two things these are so good like these are costco repeats every time stuffed bell peppers with ground beef and rice we used to make these separately. We used to make those on our own and it's just a lot to do, like especially to cut out the pepper and all that. So when I saw that Costco started doing that, I started grabbing those. They're so good, it's such a good meal. You literally need like rice, even though those have rice. Yeah, those have rice in them. So, I mean, it's, it's really up to you. Um, these are the Tuscan chicken wraps with sauce. The sauce looks the same, but the wrap is yellow instead of orange. I don't know, but. Costco's frozen meal section. I mean, Sam's Club has a really good, not frozen meals, um, refrigerated, like pre made, pre packaged food, whatever it's called. Sam's Club has a great one of those too. It's just, I don't know, I like Costco's a little bit better, and I feel like Costco has way more. Um, ooh, these, I hope they look as good in person as they look online. I had a pair, I loved them. I think they were actually called the Jezebel. <gasps> Do from Key and they kept getting broken. Like, I don't know how I would drop them. Do you got to go outside? All right, hold on one second. They kept getting dropped or broken or slammed in a door. I mean, all these things. And they were like 80 bucks. And I just was like, I can't. I can't keep replacing these daggum glasses that have the worst look in the world. So I found these on Amazon and this brand, they look exactly the same. They might be a tiny, tiny bit smaller, but this brand makes really good glasses that are also lightweight and don't hurt your ears after a long period of time. I love these. 
I just took my second shot of trim, so I'm like twitching a little bit. I'll have to excuse me. Stuff's like pre-workout without the itch. You know what I mean? If you've ever done pre-workout, like pre-workout, I get real itchy. Trim is like, but it's wild. Oh, I got new undies. So these, I find that seamless underwear are impossible to shop for. And I can't remember who linked these up on Insta, but they're like a mesh almost. And they, I don't know, they just looked promising, but the amount of freaking seamless underwear that roll, it is, makes me so irritated. It's like, what's the freaking point of a seamless underwear if it rolls and then it had, like you can see that. So, let's see what this <gasps> It did show up. Of course it showed up after I filmed the freaking haul video. So I got this off Amazon. It arrived a little late, kept saying it was in New York and then it like froze. I thought this was adorable. And it is like a little 4th of July outfit. Look at it. It's beer cans and the American flag. I think that is just absolutely hysterical. And then look at the shorts. How cute. So anyway, you may not think it's cute. I just think it's like really fun and festive. Um, so this is the fit we're going for, but it is now for something. I don't have my glasses on, didn't put my contacts in today. So we're gonna go with 440 or 48, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go grab the boys from my parents' house and then we're gonna make the chili lime, sweet chili lime chicken. We're doing that. And then I think we're gonna do um, rice. I wanted to do cilantro lime rice and then I was like, it's chili lime, like that's enough. And then I think we're also just gonna do corn. Sam was like, why not have corn? And I was like, okay, why not? I don't know if that's gonna be the best pairing, but that's what we're gonna have. All right, no, oh God. Okay, I need this off. Got a pantsless child running around again. <laughs> Dinner working, corn on the cob. That's for rice. That is the pineapple cherry dump cake. It's delicious. I'm actually about halfway through cooking these now. It says cook them for like 18 minutes, but you gotta flip them once. doing I'll stick it back in the oven it stresses me out though I had the dump cake in the oven see that right there nope 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 I had the dump cake in the oven when we started so now the dump cakes out and food's on the bottom nope you're pantsless kid 